Vaccination clinics that serve some of the hardest hit communities are closing due to a lack of supply as more than a million doses sit in freezers. The Ford government had a lot of explaining to do today. This represents a complete failure of the province to coordinate an effective vaccine rollout. Two clinics in Scarborough closed today, cancelling 10,000 appointments. Thorncliffe Park's clinic sat empty. The clinic at Seneca College is also closing, and the University Health Network halted booking appointments for three hotspot postal codes. The reason, according to Doug Ford... We don't have the supply. The government is blaming Moderna delays. About 800,000 are arriving late this month. However, the number of vaccines waiting to go into arms is growing. We know that as of today, there are about 1.2 million doses of the vaccines still sitting in Doug Ford's freezers. And yet he and his team are complaining about supply issues. This is, this is absolutely unacceptable. That's roughly 10 days supply. Premier Ford insists they need a few days worth to meet consistent demand and every dose in a freezer is already booked to be administered. Other premiers today also express frustration with lack of supply. We're you know, running out here again uh, this week as we just as we start to receive a little bit more. This has been a great frustration for us from the beginning. But Doug Ford is also facing criticism for a confusing patchwork system to book vaccines, a criticism he dismissed yesterday. Folks, it's very, very simple. The Liberal leader is calling for a simpler system, labeling the current one incompetent negligence. Doug Ford should have by now been able to develop a one-stop shop opportunity. This notion of multiple pathways is already a recipe for confusion and disaster. When there's a fire raging, you, you put the, the hose, you, you put the water uh, at the most um, vigorous flames. The NDP want more vaccines allocated to hotspots, which the Solicitor General dismissed. Sylvia Jones says 75% of doses are delivered based on population and 25% are allocated to hotspots. I do not believe that the solution is to pull vaccines away from other communities. We just need more supply. Some more numbers for you now. Ontario has administered about 75% of the 4.5 million doses it's received from the Fed so far. Yesterday, it hit a new high with close to 113,000 put in arms. I'm told 400,000 of the 1.2 million doses waiting to be administered are Pfizer doses, which arrived just 48 hours ago. As for the AstraZeneca doses, well, they're not moving as quickly because people are concerned about the possibility of the rare blood clots and shopping around for other types of vaccines.